everyone, it's Tori here from Goody Beads and I'm with Candy Cooper. Hey Tori. Hey Candy, how are you doing? I'm good. good. This is so good to be here. Yeah, we're glad to have you here. Um, today we wanted to share with you some of our favorite products and that is these bib connectors. We are a little obsessed with them here. Tori, you let me play with one and yes. just in 10 minutes I was like, I suppose I better stop these are addicting. <laughs> they are addicting and the great thing is, is there's so many possibilities and ways to use them. Um, you'll see here, um, so Vang did a lovely bead stitching, which you never would really think to go with it, but it looks amazing. It this, looks really sharp. And it's fabulous. And this um, is this tutorial is on our blog, so you can find that. And then we did this one with just some leather. So you had this open frame, and you can just add leather to it really easily by doing a lark's knot, which I'll show you. Um, I started the first one out, I think that was about nine inches. So you know, you just measure your leather out and cut it, and then it's just as easy as folding it in half. Let me get my finger out of there and inserting it through the frame. Yep, through the frame and pulling your leather through. I always forget a lark's head. Yes. Okay, that's a lark's head knot. Yep. And then just not keeping your wire or your leather twisting. Yep, and then you're just going to want to straighten it out and you get that. I mean, mine not even, but you can always trim them. And then I just added some um, large hole beads from Dakota Stones on the end, which is just a really nice, easy way to add a little accent. And they slip on there pretty well. You have to twist them on a little bit. Then you can just twist them on. Sometimes I cut my leather at a really oh, sharp at an angle. angle to just yep. get, just get that it. works too. And then I also find that I just like to push it up to give myself some room to tie that knot. And you just tie your knot, and it's I'm so. I'm like amazed with this technique. It's so easy, and then pull it back down, and you can trim. You can even amount it. Um, you know, you can add different colors. A little graduated length. Yep, and I cut about each one about a half an inch or an inch shorter, depending on you know how graduated you want your mm -hmm. kind of. Um, fringe to be. Yeah. And yeah. I really love how you use the same leather then to knot it to your chain. Yep. You yeah. Add yep. A add a little, a little touch there to, you know, a little cute little accent versus just a regular jump ring. And the big mystery of like, I always like to add just a little bit of glue in the mm, leather yep. just because that's going to be a vulnerable yes. point when you're yeah. wearing it. Absolutely. So just a little touch of glue great. in there. I, yeah. It's a great design. That's a great Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. And then, you, so <laughs> what haven't I done? That's like more than like, what, ha what have you been doing? It's like, what haven't I been doing over here? So I, um, I was really inspired with, by just the little tassels yep. and the jump ring connections. I use a lot of chain in my designs. Mm -hmm. And so I went to town with a lot of chain, some focals, some of your cute charms that you have. Yes. So what I was thinking with all the metal stamping, you could really take this. Oh, you really could. To so many different levels. But so far, I'll turn it around so you can see. So far, I've just been looping some chain. Yeah, that's And great. dropping some pieces of chain like straight down. And all you have to really know how to do to make, mm -hmm. to, you know, if you just want a simple evening project is open and close a jump ring. Yep. So easy. So. Um, like for example, I just cut some short pieces of chain, one inch chain, connected my tassel. There's one half already Love. done. Yep. And then you you have tassels in all different colors. We do. We have a lot of tassels in great colors, um, two different sizes right now, um, and they really accent everything really well. Well, and they just have that great bohemian style that is you know so present right mm -hmm. now on the runway. Absolutely. Um, so then the other thing I was doing once I get this little guy connected, this is like the other charm bracelet. You know, I love making little charm bracelets, but these are like, yep. you can put just a little bit of everything on yeah. there. And the other thing I'm going to add next are just some little four millimeter beads to head pins. Yeah, great. So I got a few more to go. Let's see, I'm doing six on this one. That's the hardest part is keeping everything <laughs> symmetrical, mm -hmm. walking around, yep. lopsided, um, and um, then finishing it with a little wrapped loop. Yep. Here we go. Is that six? Yep. So wrapped loop, grab your round nose pliers, and take the, make sure that's all straight. Take that up over the top, turn it. But that is kind of like your leather fringe, mm -hmm. you know, except I'm doing it with beads. Absolutely. So when I connect it, I hope it gives it kind of that fringy, um, a heavy look without being heavy, you know, yep. with the stones. Excellent. Trim the flood, trim it so the wire's flush against the beads. Watch your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Safety goggles. Safety glasses, <laughs> check. 
And then, it is dangerous making jewelry with me sometimes. I can be a little <laughs> reckless. But then just grab your jump ring. And of course you could wire it directly to the actual bib connector, oh, yeah. I think. But for me, I really want it to move. And I wanted to stack it on top of some of these areas where I had chain mm -hmm. and that weren't to help fill it in a little bit. Fill it in that yep. wasn't as exciting as those bulky tassels visually. So we'll see how it goes. It's really just trial and error. It is. Put it on, take it off. You can always change it up later. How's it looking, Tori? Oh, that looks great. I can't wait to finish this yeah. up. Thanks for joining us. Uh, check out goodybeads.com for all these amazing goodies. <laughs>